food in Dublin, specifically meats, the quality of meat, types of meat that they have here, how they cook their meats. Dublin's got a lot of culture. With all those different cultures comes tons of different, uh, tons of different foods and meats and all that stuff. So Dublin's a great place if you want to come to eat foods of different cultures. Like for example, right down the street from where I live, there's a there's a place where they do traditional Brazilian meats, where they you know put the meat on the stick and they bring it past you and they shave it off onto your plate. It can tend to be pretty expensive. There's also a number of different Indian places right down the street from where I live. There's a couple Chinese places right down the street from where I live. And then there's places, kebab shops, and what they call chippers all over the place. Where I'm from, we don't eat kebabs. But basically, they're like a giant Mediterranean taco, if you can think about it like that. Okay, giant Mediterranean-style taco. And chippers. Chippers are what they call places that sell uh, fish and chips. They'll sell chips, which are just big fries, steak fries, we would call them back home. Um, they also sell things like pizza slices, hamburgers. It's basically like all the different types of fast food. They'd call those places chippers. But specifically the meats. Um, if you are Muslim, um, there's plenty of options for you here. There are a lot of Muslim people here. Um, so they have a lot of halal meat. Um, you can walk down the street, especially the street where I live, Camden Street, and there are tons of places that will sell halal meats. And the best part about that is these places tend to be the cheapest places that will sell the meats. So I could walk in there and buy two steaks and watch the guy cut them from the, from the actual uh, piece itself, cut them off of the piece, and I would get it for a fraction of the cost that I would pay if I were to go to somewhere like Tesco or even their very, very cheap places to buy meat here or buy things here like Little or Aldi. Um, so if you come here to Dublin and you're going to live or even if you're going to be staying here for an extended period of time, when you're thinking about going out and purchasing meats, take a look at some of those either like the Asian markets, so like the Chinese markets or um, the uh, Arab stores that, uh, where they sell the halal meats and stuff like that. You'll get really good prices on things like eggs, meat, and it's fresh and it's right there in front of you and especially it's halal. So can you really beat that? I don't think so. If you go to a restaurant, you can expect them to charge you ridiculous amounts of money for food or for, for uh, uh, meat products here, like a steak. It's not, it wouldn't be uncommon here to pay 30 euros for a steak at a, at a relatively decent restaurant. Now, with that, the quality of the steak isn't anything near to what you would pay 30, the equivalent of 30 euros for, which is probably something like $40. If I go back home to the States and I pay 40 euros or $40 for a steak, I better believe I'm going to be getting a good cut of steak. Most of the time it's going to be cooked really well. It's going to be great. Here, your expectations for cooked meat like that have to go down. Um, and that could be because of various regulations or the quality of meat that they're sourcing or that they're getting it from. You know, I don't know what it is, but I don't go to restaurants here and order things like steaks. Hamburgers. Um, there are a few places out here that do really, really good hamburgers. Um, but there is one thing that you need to know about hamburgers if you come out to Ireland. Specifically, don't come out to Ireland and think you're going to get a hamburger that's cooked rare or medium. They do not cook hamburgers out here with pink on the inside. Okay? They would call it minced. We call it hamburger meat back home. They call it minced meat. The reason why they don't do this is because of foodborne illnesses. Okay? Mad cow disease, if you guys remember that crazy scare that went around a while ago, mad cow disease started right in this area, right in this Ireland and in the UK area. So they're very conscious about the meat and how it's prepared, specifically minced meat. Okay? There are a few places around the city center that will cook you, that will cook you a rare hamburger. I'm a big hamburger person, so I will try and source these places out. Okay, if you ask any local person, they might be able to tell you where they'll cook you a rare hamburger. But don't expect to go into any restaurant at that and order a hamburger and expect them to be able to cook it for you rare. Because the regulations say that they cannot cook a rare hamburger. Something to be aware of. Also, something to be aware of is this recent uh, horse meat scandal that's been going around. Okay, There are a number of places that have been selling meats, such as Tesco and Little and Aldi and all of these grocery stores that they have out here, that have been selling meats that have been mixed, selling minced beef that, have been, that has been mixed with horse meat. So that's something to be aware of. If I go to the halal shop right down the street, I know exactly where that meat's coming from. That's probably another benefit of going to one of those smaller shops like that. 
So that's something to be aware of when you come to Ireland. You know, the quality of meats, what to expect when you go to a restaurant. Don't go to a restaurant and think because you order an expensive steak that it's going to be good compared to what you might have back home because that is not the case. Two, don't expect to go to a restaurant and order a rare hamburger because you're not going to get it. It's going to come through cooked all the way or you're going to have to go and find some place that's willing to cook you a rare hamburger. And even then, they might, be, they might tell you that you have to sign a waiver. And three, shop local. Shop with the local shops. Don't go to Tesco or Little or, or, Little or Aldi, even if you absolutely, even if you're in, if you're in a, you know, push to get some meat. The cheapest meat from those big stores that I can usually find would be at Little or at Aldi. But even then, it's not cheap compared to the prices that I would find at the local shops, like the halal meat shops or the, or the butchers or the local places right around here. So, things to think about when you're coming over here and purchasing meats. Bon appetit.